After building his own race car and entering into a drag racing uh, contest, that was back in 1955, Eddie Hill knew his calling, and that calling was to go fast. Yeah, and even after several gut-wrenching crashes, Hill is still racing to this day. It's why he was named the legend of North Texas today. Curtis Jackson was there for the ceremony, and Curtis, I am sure it was a packed house. Yeah, that's right. Seats were filled by county leaders, Hill's family and friends, and even his old pit crew. So for Hill, it was a reunion of a lifetime. I've watched Eddie's career for a long time. The fastest man on land and water was honored during a ceremony today. Guest speakers reflected on the journey Eddie Hill has been on throughout his life. A journey that Hill and his wife, Ursi, are still adding to. We're still racing. I won earlier this year, and uh, with the trophy that we won this year, and uh, the ones we won in 1949 when I was 13, that's uh, nine decades that we've had trophies or championships or awards. And in those nine decades, Hill has seen his fair share of serious wrecks. I've been uh, on my head and on fire uh, at 300 mile an hour. I got pitched out of a boat uh, where they clocked my body going in front of the boat at 166 mile an hour one time. And uh, the good Lord just keeps pulling me uh, through those deals. My uh, guardian angel is the one with the cinch wings and all the band-aids, you know, and the bruised knuckles. <laughs> and it's that drive and dedication to the sport that has Hill named as the most recent legend of North Texas. It's kind of overwhelming, really, I guess. Uh, it's just, it just seemed like an awful lot of fuss, just about a, a kid that likes to go fast in a car. <laughs> but but uh, it, it's a great honor, and we really appreciate it. And there's a lot of people uh, showed up, you know, and it made me... Uh, made us feel awful good about it. And when asked about any plans of slowing down anytime soon. No, why would I do that? <laughs> Hill has been inducted into seven different halls of fames, but says nothing will beat one memory in particular. The first four <laughs> second run was uh, very, uh, very special, very spectacular. Uh, like I say, this one today means a lot to me because these are all people that know us and uh, they still like us anyway. <laughs> And with no plans of hitting the brakes anytime soon, it's pedal to the metal while leaving everything in the rear view, even at age 86. Now Hill says he has a knee surgery coming up in the next couple of days and says once he's recovered from that, He'll be back on the track doing what he loves most, racing. Wow, you that's those, amazing. It is. You look at those wrecks and you think of Evil Knievel. You know? yeah. he, he's going to have his knee surgery and he's going to get right back in the game. Just Nothing like is Evil stopping him. Nothing <laughs> is stopping awesome. him. Curtis, thank you so much for that story. And congratulations, mm -hmm. Eddie.